Good morning. We're converting our underground swimming pool into a greenhouse. We just put the uh, glazing up yesterday. Just wanted to show you the project. First of all, I want to show you the, the wind. You can see the wind kicking out with the trees back there. And I'm not getting any buffeting or rattling on the panels at all. So it looks like everything's in good shape. Just want to give you a quick overview of the project. This swimming pool is a roughly 20 foot by 40 foot swimming pool. I think interior it's 18 feet by 40 feet. It's got a shallow end and a deep end. I'm walking down to the deep end. But it's, the water level was nine feet deep. And that was probably to this mark right here. So we probably got another 10 feet. And then the roof we put on it is seven foot. So it's pretty cool. So on this deep end, I've got to the top there, I've got roughly 17 feet. Anyway, I plan on having citrus trees down here on the, on the deep end. We've got a frame for a ventilation fan over there. I'll be working on getting the ends closed in today. But I don't know that I've seen this before, somebody turning a swimming pool into a greenhouse. But it's kind of cool because, you know, back, back in this area over here was, I guess you would call the pool house. And that's where the filter was, uh, the water source to fill the pool. But anyway, the, the underground PVC pipes that came to the swimming pool can be used this right here was a fresh water fill. So it's a, it's basically a PVC conduit that comes out in, in the, in the pool house. So we can use that to either run a electrical through there or to run water through it. Right here, the pool had a light. And when I had changed the bulb in it, water was coming out, which meant it was leaking. So I just plastered the whole thing over. But because it was a light, once I chip out the plaster I put in, I'll, I'll have an electrical source there that, that already runs into the well house, which has its own breaker box. So if I put a plug here, I'll have electricity for the vent fan over there. So that's pretty cool. You know, since this is all, this is all gonna be basically pots because of the concrete floor, we've got the existing drain in the bottom. And I can, I'm pretty sure my plan is just put a sump pump in the hole. So as, as I'm watering plants and they, and, and the water flows down, it'll all come down here and I can sump it up, either pump it outside or put it in a, in a container to reuse. You know, the uh, shelves like right here in here, I don't know if they're shelves or steps, but you know, I can kind of envision a, maybe a protein tub up there with sweet potatoes in it which would be pretty cool because they would all just all the leaves would just cascade down to the bottom you know the fun part is the designing and planning of it it's got a big slope down i'm gonna go to the top here and turn around i mean it just slopes down and then levels off. This may end up being one big wide stairway going down where I can walk down the middle, but the stairway, wide stairs may be two foot wide where potted plants can go on each side. Like I said, this will be the fun part of the whole project. Here's another hole. This was for the vacuum. So it's another, I think that's a two inch pipe that comes out in the in the pool room where the pumps were, so I can use that for water or electrical. Got all these steps going in. Yeah, that might be seed starting, like all the seed starting trays would go over there. Uh, this is the, the back wall, which is where the door is gonna be. I couldn't, couldn't put the door on the existing steps because the way we designed it, we just did a simple A-frame. So we had to put the door in the middle, but I'll have to build a stairway down here. This will probably be potting area. 
the way the sun is, I think this, this shallow wind will be the more shaded part. So I'll use that for like a potting station over here. I could put the seed trays over here. As I build steps, like I said, I could have a lot of plants down in here. You know, I just think this is a very cool project. I'm not done with it yet. Today I'm gonna to focus on the end walls to get it totally sealed in. But I think I need the end walls. I need a roof cap because it's still vented up there. I think, like I said, it's pretty cool. One, one problem I noticed is as water condensates and drip down here, I've got a, I've got a little area here where I think water could puddle. I mean, I've got the means to, to bevel this down or uh, take these, this grout out. You know, water would fall in there and then, and then go down in the pool. But those are thing, little things we'll have to deal with. I mean, other than that and the orientation, you know, we really couldn't orient it the way we wanted it because the pool was already here. In the summertime, it's full sun, but in the wintertime, I think it's about nine or 10 o'clock in the morning. And we're just now, you can still see some areas are shaded, but that's gonna be okay. We'll, we got the ability to put the plants where it gets the most sun and we'll make use of it. These are uh, eight millimeter polycarbonate panels. They're 12 foot long. And I designed the whole thing to fit a 12 foot panel where I think in my area in central Texas, 45 degrees would have been the best slope to get the sun but I wanted to stick with a 12 foot and it ended up at 35 degree walls to end up with a 12 foot panel. Anyway, this will definitely be a continuing project as we build the end panels, uh, put the roof cap on and start just filling it, filling it up. But I'm gonna shut it down real quick and go outside so you can see a picture of it from the outside. Okay, I'm on my top deck. So I've got a deck and then it drops down. Drops down a few feet and then the swimming pool was here. Just kind of showing you the, the pool. And I'm going to go down to the bottom give you an up view of it. Because it drops down here and then after the pool it drops down another, I don't know, seven or eight feet. But let me take a location change again. I'll be right back. Pretty windy, but here's another view. I'm going to go down one more level again. Okay, the wind's beating real bad, so I'm going to finish it up here. But just wanted to show you all the elevations of, of it. Anyway, stay tuned as we finish it up and uh, start filling the inside with plants. You guys take care.